I know, we're picking up right from where we left off. Yep, welcome back to Bowser's Fury. And I don't think there is a rant this time. Well, now that I know. Now, if I remember correctly, because I 100 percent of this game before, there's a Toad Brigade member around here. Right on the money. Question is, how does he get down from there? Eh. The water's the water impacts could be like a slap in the face, but if Mario can handle it, I think he'll be fine. Yeah, my only thing about the next 3D Mario game is that I don't think there should be like a timer or time mechanic this difficult in Siri Bowser. This was for more experienced players. Familiar to the genre. And I feel like they couldn't have gotten away with something like this if they did that. At. And I felt like the the increase in 3D world's difficulty is also due to a part, part in like removing the extra life system. So there's no game over. Ever. Instead like a 10 point penalty. Or something. Because, uh, I quite honestly want the next three Mario game to be as open world as Breath of the Wild in terms of playing field. Or go back to like missions from like uh, Sun Sunshine and 64. But I feel like they, they've moved on from something like that. Yeah. 
would be kind of a step backwards. But in order to make a step forward, I'd like to see them, like, uh, do that. You're probably wondering where that one was, huh? Yeah, it drove me stir crazy tail. Like, I think the environment should significantly change if they're going back to, like, areas like, uh... Like, uh, like, sections like sunshine. Kinda like... Like, uh... How certain things were available. For that mission. Gold. Whatever Mario's collecting are doing. And just, uh... Like, have it, the environment, like, significantly change so it doesn't go scale. Even though 64 Sunshine were, like, dynamite, Odyssey made the clever move of having in players, like, collect so many, like, power mounts. And, and encourage you to explore the environment as to where Sunshine 64 had you look for a single Shine Sprite or Power Star. Super Mario Galaxy games also do this single goal thing. Okay. Perhaps they could do both. I know people are gonna groan at the blue coin thing, but that was actually pretty clever for them to get players to explore the environment. However, getting them was a total pain. And it should probably be not as frustrating. So maybe some additional, uh, ones. Some additional collectibles of whatever. Stars, moon. Points. Whatever Mario is collecting, or whatever goal Mario is running towards, like have an additional one. Galaxy also did this with some stages, even though it was more linear. I kind of want, like, Odyssey to, like, have it, like, Odyssey's encouragement to explore. Or keep an eye out for all of this stuff. But at the same time, I want to, like, like, see significant changes in the environment for mission episodes. And even have a hub world return. with its own little set of secrets.
mean, the alternative is pretty much making us a full-fledged Odyssey sequel. I don't expect them to, like, completely re do something different. At, at, like, this rate. Okay, like, I feel like that... That would be great for the Switch, his lifetime. But we got plenty kinds of Mario games. Times that I feel like they could probably save that card for, uh... Next... Switch's success. Either this is one shallow lake, or... Oh, they did that so, uh... We're not, like, uh, bumming around. this game, like, back in the Mushroom Kingdom. But it adds, like, these expansive worlds, like Odyssey, that are unique in its own way. Hey, and extremely creative. It's been a while since 3D Land and where the we had, like, a 3D Mario game that actually took place in Mushroom Kingdom. Like, I feel like that would be a good step in the right direction. Like, maybe expand a little more and make much a little more unique. Have a little more unique areas. Or, like, have a fully fleshed out Russian game. That's, like, a massive play. You know, but there's gotta be some sort of big event make it unique from the rest of the Mario series. Pretty much an overworld like Breath of the Wild, but it has to be like the environments have to be like crazy, like 
Like, you can have the familiar Mario environments, such as World 1-1, 1-1, one, one, one one, um, from New Super Mario Brothers, or Acorn Planes from New Super Mario Brothers U. But they gotta have, like, their own little twist guest on it, it as you press progress through the game, or, like, have certain events. That's not as stressful as Fury Bowser. Like the environment changes drastically. They perhaps progress it. And they gotta get really creative if they're gonna have a season of mushrooms again. In order for it to like click. For the top Odyssey. Okay, but I'd really like to see a fully fleshed out mushroom system. A fully open world Mario. But the environment's gotta be just as big or bigger. The Hidden Breath of the Wild's playing even. And it has to be, like, very engaging. I'm pretty sure they'll come up with some. And they probably have a speak. I mean, like, this is just probably just to keep us as well we're waiting. Don't get me wrong, 3D. We need to have like a proper 3D Mario sequel. Well, like Galaxy 2 on the Wii U. To be honest, we weren't expecting Galaxy 2. But that's because only because the uh, project from Galaxy 1 was so big. They took old ideas old and new and added it to Galaxy 2. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb again. Alright, let's find the rest of the cash I need cards. You have half your grassland level. Level like something like similar to Odyssey. You can lay it out of the castle. But then you gotta like go with something. Rather than just your, your average repeat of New Super Mario Brothers game. You can have those environments. Environments, but they gotta be like unique in the way Odyssey presented them. And which is wild. Of such as uh, Pastorana. 
and Sand Kingdom. Kingdom in the Launching Kingdom. Kingdom Mount Bolvon. No, but they also have to like go with something like Crick. Easy like that, as well as New Donk City. Like something really unique. Like an environment that hasn't been done before. I'm sorry if I'm like a broken record on it, I just don't know how to emphasize this. The other thing is, what kind of mechanic are they going to add to Mario? You know, this time. Because, on the fly power-ups... Like, they found, like, a move. They added a move to Mario's roster that was just so fun. To Galaxy Spin. With the cap throw. My only other idea is that Mario could somehow combine those power-ups with, like, like, elements he finds in, in the environment, somehow. Which could probably have a huge play on, on with the environment significantly changing now and then. Or players could change the environment altogether. Like, very drastically. But not to the way that it would, like, like, cause harm. Because that ain't Mario's style. One key, one cat shot. Alright, we're gonna go steer crazy and try to find the last cat train shard, I think. I don't see it on the edges.
Like, I don't want them to be a easy on the difficulty with it, too. No, but I want the experience to be enjoyable. Like, there could be, like, harder sections or environments that you can get to. Kind of like Breath of the Wild did, like with the Hyrule Castle. But yeah, it, I, I think they just have to make it fully open world. In order to, like, top Odyssey. And have, like, something just absolutely creative and crazy. Easy. Like, on the creative skill of, like, Odyssey. But it has to be, like, completely new. I I'd, I'd love to see, like, maybe... ...the environments from some of the Mario Kart games. Like, like Mushroom City played out a little bit more. Or Toad Harbor. I think those are areas in the kingdom. And... The only thing that isn't cat-themed are the crabs. Bowser. Thank goodness I have this amiibo. That's my life. Up, I'll tap the Bowser amiibo. See how you, you like it. It won't let you do that. Yeah, I did notice in 3D World Mario's had a little more of a reactive face. In some certain situations. Like, you look angry. Hey, when, like, you approach a boss, like, really angry. Yeah, and I want. I'd like to see Mario, like, a little more over this heat bear. <laughs>
Like, I'd like to see Mario express a lot more emotion. Um, but not to the point where it makes him, like, weak or anything. another Toad for the gate member up here. Yeah, I don't think there's much he can do with us here. So how does the warp mechanic work? Magic? Or does Bowser Jr. just like grab Mario's hand and like drag him to another part of Blake Lapcat? Or, or do somehow this Bowser Jr. manage to squeeze himself? Elf. And Mario and his clown. I also think turning the power up bar would be good for a future 3D Mario game if we're gonna go back to the standard power up system. But again, there's gotta be like a. The, the idea of on the fly power ups Odyssey introduced. 
has got to be there. And there's got to be an action for Mario to probably maybe combine elements in the environment with his power-ups. Like, imagine it. Nah. Instead of Fire Mario, we get, like, an electrically charged fireball. Oh, that can maybe, you know... I'll power certain things while at the same time we're melting. Like there's a frozen battery. Yeah, that needs charge. But you can't thaw it. it and charge it at the same time. So throwing an electrically charged fireball would do the trick. Like, probably like how Kirby Star Allies combined iron power-ups, but you like... I mean, copy abilities, but you, but you gain these, like, uh, infusions and elemental uh, things from... I don't know. Say, um... Whatchamacallit? The environment. Really be careful on how I wear this because, believe it or not, there's actually a few who people who fluently speak English in the, in the week ED. I've probably given you guys ideas. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sue you. <laughs> oh, yes. In fact, I'd be more than happy to see them actually use. Was. Like, we have a, a couple of uh, American migrants in there, er, who wanted to work on it. Like, this one dude, a while back, posted on a forum. I would do, like, uh, probably moved to Japan because he wanted to work with Nintendo so badly. Years later, his name pops up in The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. And I couldn't be happier for him. As American, I feel personally proud of that. And sadly, no, we are not all like Hank Hill. <laughs> Oddly enough, apparently, I've heard King of the Hill is actually very popular in Japan. Along with The Simpsons. I think. And I don't know, I don't live there. And this is also just me cracking some slide jumps. Yeah, yeah, Bowser, go back to sleep.
Now we're gonna head back to first step aisle. I think. Let's see if who's left from the Code Brigade. I feel like we missed one. Yep, we definitely missed one. Gotta keep an eye peeled. Yeah, I think he's over at Crisp Climb Castle. Look, if 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 Bowser Jr. does like carry Mario via clown car, I'm pretty sure it, it's got to be an awkward conversation. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna ask Mario when, when I get to Nintendo World in New York. Alright, let, let, let's just face it, if, if Bowser Jr. does carry Mario via clown car, or different parts of Lake Lab Cat, there's, there's just gonna be like awkward pauses and, and uh, brief awkward conversations when they're given their history together. Okay, we have not made the lighthouse shine. Okay, we're taking the pipe back up. I am not going to get them in one shot. Or I could be dead wrong. To a degree, maybe. There goes that fun combo. I'm surprised that, that, like, when Vinny streamed this game, he did not, like, say anything about cat seagulls, because that, that's just weirded me out more than anything in this game. And again, everything is cat-themed, I know, I get it, but I think we've reached a point in Mario's, uh, in Mario designs, as far as they go. To the point where they're, uh, nothing is too bizarre. As long as it's E for everyone, I think nothing is, like, too bizarre. Alright, at this point. Oh, what a 
deteriorated Mario game look like. Sounds just a little too edgy for Mario. Okay, that was a trick I did not expect. Yeah, this is a very shallow lake, I take it. Yeah, this... I think instead of snow, I think it's just sleet now. Ugh. Wet snow. Well, that's gotta feel terrible. Believe me, I, I I lived in New Jersey. I was born there. We had snow all the time, but when it rained and there was snow on the ground, it gets mushy. Mm, kind of gets a little gross. Especially if it's on any patches of dirt or grass. Ass, you heard of yellow snow? Oh, you've heard- Oh. Now get ready for this. There is such a thing as red snow. One time, one of my former bullies that became my friend, he used to mock me on the school bus, so I socked him on the nose. I, I felt bad for him later afterwards. I'm not sure if I told this story or not. So I went to go check him out the next day on the playground. And, uh... He was kind of afraid of me, and, and I, I really let him have it. Have it, and I told, I kind of told him that it's gonna be okay, or it's gonna be all right. Kind of comforted him. Um, I think eventually we became good friends, as far back as memory goes. I think it was back in kindergarten. Man, how far my memory goes. And, uh, one day, hey, we were in our class, I think. And I, I, he asked me, Hey, Travis, guess what do you want to help me to do? And I was like, um, why not just... Give crayons out to the other kids. Like the kid was like bigger than me. I remember we had like like uh, at least one glue eater. Eater. The, the, there was probably a. Um, we had like an ambulance. There was an ambulance for him there. Eric, because he ate so much glue at one point. I think. I'm not 100 sure if that's correct or not. But like, I, I think there was a glue eater. Not the same kid. It mind you, because the day the ambulance arrived, we were both confused. But however, the day we saw the red snow, oh, apparently um, there was snowball fights. There was uh, snow on the ground. Apparent, I think maybe a rock got stuck in one of the snowballs. Socked one of the kids. We're shooting them and. Uh, Red snow, and it became more of a rumor going around. However, right outside the window, we could see it. E the pile, or where the pile where the kid kind of bled a little. Oh, like they announced it on the intercom. I'm saying, please do not concern yourself about the red snow. Okay, now you just piqued their interest. You shouldn't have mentioned it at all. In retrospect, to be honest with myself. But for real. What do you think kids are gonna do when you say something like that? Uh, that raises an eyebrow for pretty much anyone. Right, Snow. Oh, we all know what's red, but... 
Now, what we were asking is how bad was the injury? Like, was it a nosebleed? Like, some of us decided to investigate, but the teachers told us not to go near it. Again, we were kids, we didn't know that it could be a biohazard. Or, I guess. Like, we didn't touch it. Let's make it that clear. Yeah. It was weird. Back at the subject of the blue eater, I think that what happened one day during recess, or all to that side, it was like somewhere in Kenalon. And, uh, yeah, I think somebody ate too much blue. And, uh, I can remember. Again, this was kind of a while back, so I'm not 100% sure on how these events went. The kid was like, you know, in some sort of a, like a thing, being put into the ambulance. Like, I, I think I remember him, like, us telling him that that glue, that it's not a good idea to eat that. He just didn't listen. really didn't listen. Again, I was probably still in the Thomas the Tank Engine, and that's why the dude, my former bully, like, mocked me. Like, I had a Thomas keychain, and he called it a baby show. Eventually, one day, I got, had enough of his teasing. Like, I tried ignoring him, but he was just, like, on and on and on. Again, if, if that's you, Ooh, I, I apologize for it was years ago, and I hope you're doing well. Oh, like, holy moly. It, like, he did it to me on the bus, racist. Now, I can't remember if that's when Thomas and the Magic Railroad came out. And yes, my parents took me to see it, and they're pulling me to... And I'm never gonna live that down. Um, because apparently that movie was bad. From what I've heard in the news, we're supposed to be getting another Thomas the Tank Engine movie. Directed by the dudes who made World War Z. That's gonna be interesting. But yeah. Apparently it wasn't until- Speaking of Thomas, it wasn't apparently until years later. That I learned that the narrator, not Ringo Starr, George Carlin, had like, like, the most foul mouth. My father, when he first heard him on Thomas the Tank Engine, was like, he thought he did something wrong. <laughs> George Carlin was known for his really, really, really raunchy kind of humor.
Boomer and my mother was there. <laughs> he had like, like the oh no face. And like, my dad was like, oh no. <laughs> when he first heard him. <laughs> On that. Like, like he, he knew. It what, what George Carlin would usually say, but nope. Nope, he was thoroughly surprised. It wasn't until years later I realized what, how much of a filthy mouth he had. Yeah, I don't think Bowser can reach us up here. <laughs> now what else do we need? Oh, the Lucky Isle is here! Mind if we do. <laughs> However, if we are getting another 3D Mario game on more powerful hardware, I think they need to do something about the dipping lag. Like, I get it. Fury Bowser is a, probably a gigantic model. And I don't think they could have gotten away with this unless this was a like bundled in 3D world. Start in the I wonder if NST really did have a bigger role, because I think those are, are usually American developers. That's an oddity. Wow, this video's gone out in 
on for an hour now, huh? No, no. I might be going insane. Forgot it. Go through that plusy gate. Well, that was a bust. Fortunately, I know a couple of techniques.
Wow, this just gets even more convenient. You even have to break out the amiibo. Where are those fury blocks? Hmm? Oh, there they are. And that's another island cleaned out. <sighs> Just adjust my mic here. Oh. Again, I have a better set setup, but I think I might need an even better setup. <laughs> Come on! Not cool! Not cool! Right. I think this video has gone on long enough. Anyways, bye and thank you for